especially with schools now open for a couple of weeks, we are carefully looking at the new cases on the first coast to see if anything might be changing. On Sunday, there were 337 new cases recorded. That is below our two week average, which shows about 375 new cases a day. And that average has been dropping pretty consistently. Lately, the numbers show a small rise, but you remember that's because of that one big day when one laboratory dumped a bunch of cases in the system. Tracking counties with the biggest jumps in cases, Duval shows 115 new cases that recording on Sunday. Clay 36, St. John's 49 new cases. It takes weeks though before an event like opening schools or a Labor Day holiday can show its impact on the spread of the virus. So we are hoping that people are socially distancing and wearing masks and we won't have a bad effect after this Labor Day holiday. Uh, you are definitely correct. We are hoping that people are continuing to do that. Got to be smart. Well, the United States reached another grim milestone in the fight against the coronavirus. The latest numbers showing tonight that close to 190,000 people have died from COVID-19, while more than 6.2 million have been confirmed to have COVID-19. California, Texas, Florida, New York, and Georgia have some of the highest cases. Researchers say deaths could skyrocket to 3,000 per day in December if current trends continue, and they believe the United States will top 400,000 by the end of the year. Deaths could be reduced by 30%. If more Americans wore face masks, they say something that is actually on the decline. 